Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time because it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We're going to kick it off with a couple of a couple of interesting prod products. This is the Arafa, I guess that's how you pronounce that, Ar, Arpaha, Arpaha, it's a dual channel dash cam, D24, quite a few dash cams, big fan of dash cams, they will, they will definitely help you in the long run, sometimes they're a little bit of a project to set up and install, but once you've got it up, you are, you are protected, and you need all the protection you can get. So this one's actually a dual channel dash cam. It's 4K, 1080p. It's got a touch screen, a three inch touch screen, app enabled, built-in GPS, and it does have voice control. So when you, when you need to capture a picture, you can just say, save file, capture picture, whatever language they're using terminology windshield mount long cable that's probably for power and then we have the rear camera that's an interesting rear camera let's open that up and take a look at that huh. very interesting you know that sticks on the glass, I guess. I'll have to read the instructions, but you could probably do it like that. And we've got an antenna. Now oh, that's a, a little lever. For... Why we still call it cigarette lighter plug, I don't know, because there's no more cigarette lighters sticking in those sockets. It's a 12 volt power port. Let me get this set up, installed and functional, shoot some footage with it, and then uh, I'll show you how I've installed it, and we'll get to take a look at that footage. Meanwhile, moving, moving right along. Celion, Celion has sent us an interesting tool. If you're building a house, you're doing a whole lot of plumbing, this will be a value to you. Comes with just two parts. You got a ratchet, some nice heavy duty half inch drive hat ratchet. And we have the tool itself. This is a PVC pipe deburring tool. Actually has edges right there. So you take your PVC pipe. Of course you're gonna probably wanna <laughs> cut it more square. Yeah, more square works better. So let me trim this up and we'll 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 do this again. But it does kind of it does a good job of cleaning stuff up. Four pieces of pipe that I need to, to ream. Oh, it seems to work better if I just hold it in my hand. I 
I could see using the ratchet if you were working with bigger pipe. Where to start? Hey, I, I've been out of commission for four days. Tweaked my back and was stuck on the... <laughs> spent three days laying on a hot pad. Anyway, before that happened, uh, I was checking on the motorhome out at the storage facility, and I found that Trudy had a dead battery. And I was like, how's that possible? I just, I just parked this a couple days ago. Did a lot of troubleshooting, had some conversations with some Ford people, uh, and learned several things. Number one, batteries suck. <laughs> well, li literally, anymore. Uh, it, if you buy a new truck, a new car with a battery in it, uh, you can expect to get maybe two years out of it. And if it's an AGM, like I have in the, in the F-150, so I have an AGM in my F-150, because it's got that auto stop and start thing. If you have one of those, uh, it's gonna be bad straight off the dealer lot, most likely. I know that's what happened with my F-150. Uh, but I had a conversation with the Ford tech about Trudy and why Trudy wasn't running. And of course, we've got the sync system on here and they were able to look at the, the computer without actually coming here uh, hold on got a car so for our the f local ford dealer here has a mobile tech and he came out and we had a, a very extensive conversation and i learned that the fuse box that's down there uh they have a known issue with water infiltration it's not under warranty and it won't ever be under warranty and it costs seven hundred dollars to put a new one in uh and that's not guaranteed to resolve your problem but turns out i had a dead battery on trudy we replaced that uh but the ford tech was telling me you know it's not a bad idea if you've been driving in the rain to disconnect your battery before you turn off oh, okay well that, that makes sense because when i park the coach i turn off the coach battery uh, but i have not been disconnecting the chassis batteries and we have two so that brings us to the next product which is the amper battery disconnect switch and it's direct I didn't want to go through a whole lot of rewiring. I just wanted to put something on the terminal to disconnect the battery. Let me check that out. Mounts on the battery post, and then you turn it on or turn it off. Really simple. I mean, that for the price that's that saves you so much time of course in my case i got to put two of them on and i'll have to turn two of them on turn two of them off 
but that's not a big issue because when she when i park her in storage i put a, a light in here to deter to discourage the rats from eating the wiring harness uh so i'm opening the hood anyway and just chip chip i'm good to go all right so let me get let me do that and then we'll take a look at it that, that was pretty simple so now we're set up with the switch we have power now we have protection and according to the ford tech he said water will get into that fuse box if if there's a lot of rain so if you're in my case i was i drove back from houston in the monsoon parked it and then went back a few days later and the battery was dead now it could be that one of those batteries was bad because it was but the other is he said this is a known issue and if you're driving in the rain there's probably going to be water in that fuse box because the wheel's right there and it blows it up into the engine compartment <clears throat> so this that's a great solution so if you're if you're parking your vehicle and you don't want to have to break out the wrenches so anything with a battery that you want to disconnect on a regular basis this is a much better alternative that's a good deal all right let's go open some more boxes so the good folks at yexix yexix inc i'm not sure how to pronounce that <laughs> why 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 yeah those good folks i guess i should just say uh here's the outskirt here's the outskirt when you go camping it's always nice to have a, 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 a soft a good place to rest your head you need a pillow but in but pillows take up space let's check out the outskirt solution for that so we have the outskirt camping pillow That's a convenient size package right there. And now the question becomes, will I be able to get it back in there? <laughs> if it's that hard to get out, is it good? how hard is it to get in? That's a, that's a decent sized pillow. And we have a pump to inflate it. The mini pump. Pump up your life. Well, pump up your air products. Pump it up. Wow. That's even smaller than I thought it was going to be. Keep the trash from blowing away. Comes with a carry bag owner's manual and attachments what attachment do we need for our does it first off does it have a light it helps to read the instructions the blower to come on you you double tap if you want the light to come on you press and hold and then you can tab through the the brightness settings all right now to inflate our pillow the pillow has a valve the, we're coming into spring so everybody's getting the mowers out that seems to be the appropriate you know, which way?
Yeah, I'm a side sleeper, so that, that'll be. I need. I guess I need to go lay down. I can sleep here tonight. It's uh, it's a little thin for the side sleeper. Still, still doable, but it'd be nice if my head was just a little bit, a little bit more on the upside. Yeah, there we go. That, that'll work. See? So yeah, I can sleep here. This is a handy little device. A handy. This is a handy little pillow kit. All right, I'm gonna catch a few Z's and we'll go open another box. I really like this little pillow. It's got the. It's got a built-in pillowcase, and it also has a strap. And I didn't mention this before, but that strap, if you're on a on an air mattress or you're you've got some kind of camping pad with you, one of the you don't have to worry about your pillow running off, slipping off, because you've got a, a strap to hold it in place. And it all stows away. Let me stow it and we'll I'll be right back. So it'll, it'll almost it'll pretty well almost all fit in one hand. Uh, that'd be great for any <laughs> any road trip that you're taking if you're flying on a plane or you know you might find yourself stuck in the airport boy that'd be a good thing to have all right moving right along <laughs> we got another box this is from cbm tech this is the alistar the alistar rv tire cover it does not look like much in that box hold on we got to get it out with 30 inch tires 30 inch wheels 30 inch tires 30 inch wheels this is going to be of interest to you check it out a nice fancy carry case now one of the big concerns with trailers even if you have just a boat any any trailer with dual axles that you're leaving parked for a period of time this is a good investment stretchy cords there's two of each one of these goes on your 30 inch tires I need to find a trailer that has 30 inch tires so I can show you how that works here's the wheel covers installed on a travel trailers set of wheels yeah that looks, that looks good I need to clean it up just a little bit right there Now it looks perfect. Looking good. You really want that. And here, I'll show you why. So this is a fifth wheel that's in storage out here where I, where Miss Miss Trudy Thunder currently spends some of her time. But this this has got you know, it's an end wall. Sun's coming up in the east, and you'll notice those tires are getting a direct dose of UV radiation and what that does is it dries out the rubber and since that tires not on the road flexing and those UV rays are breaking down the bonds in the rubber so it's not a bad investment to, to spend a little money to cover those to keep that UV radiation from breaking those bonds and you end up driving down the road and having a blowout. And that blowout will cause more damage than the, pr the price of the damage from a blown out tire will make you really wish <laughs> You had got one of them wheel covers. Not to mention the price of the tires. Because tires are no longer an inexpensive item. 
Reporting started. Wi-Fi is on. So back out in the truck. I've been running the dash cam for a while. I really like this little dash cam. I worked with quite a few dash cams in the past. And this one uh, seems to be one of the more simple to set up that I've worked with. I, I have the dash cam set up in the white pickup. Very simple to set up. I really like that the GPS is located in the mount so that when you stick it up, you're not having to put in a, a secondary piece. So that's where the, the front mount is, in, or the front camera. That's the front camera. Now the rear camera, a little more challenging on the F-150, uh, especially since it's just a temporary setup. I've got the cable running there, and we are inside the glass there. And make a note, uh, this is, you want it mounted horizontal. I originally thought it was vertical, uh, but it actually allows you to adjust. Make sure your glass is clean. All right, that should give us a pretty decent rear view. Now we just need to go drive. I really like that we can do a, a picture in picture. I'm doing a Bluetooth connection to the phone as we drive around the block. You see I got a little smudge on the That brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. Not sure where the next one will be shot. Getting kind of skinny around here. All of these items are available on Amazon. And as usual, I'll provide you with a link in the cards and in the description. If you want the one in the description, you got to click the more button to open that up. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV's gear recommendation Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. I know these vendors would appreciate you paying a visit to them as well. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That really helps with that YouTube algorithm that hates all small creators. <laughs> if you found some value, click on that thumbs up. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I sure appreciate your time and attention. And for my pay, your generosity is most appreciated. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?